Welcome back. The Russian military might uh, has now met a resilient Ukrainian army. Putin's forces have suffered some bitter blows in the last three weeks of war. So far, four top Russian commanders have been killed in Ukraine. Here's a report. Armed to the teeth, tough, ruthless, the Russian military is one of the most intimidating forces in the world. But the Ukrainian resistance has been equally fierce. Ukraine has inflicted enough injury on the aggressor. Another top Russian commander, Major General Oleg Mityev, has been killed. He died during a fierce battle with Ukrainian troops in Mariupol. He was the commander of 150th Motorized Rifle Division. This is not the first blow for the Russians in this war. Earlier, a key commander of the Russian tank regiment Colonel Andrei Zakharov was eliminated in Kiev after a heavy fight. Zakharov was a recipient of the Order of Courage from Putin himself in 2016. In a fatal blow to Russia's crack special forces, Major General Vitaly Gerasimov, the Chief of Staff of the 41st Army, was killed in Kharkiv. Russia also lost the head of the 7th Airborne Division Major General Andrei Sukhovetsky. A war hero, the general's loss is being seen as a bitter blow to Putin's crack units. A sign Russia's assault isn't going to plan. The key difference now between the Ukrainian and the Russian forces is their morale component. Um, the Ukrainians have fought very well and morale is very high um, and that is infectious and it is clearly not just between the Ukrainian professional soldiers but also the Ukrainian civil society as a whole. They see this as a fight for national survival and on the Russian side morale is very low. The death of the highly decorated veterans could be a major demotivator for the Russians and a morale booster for the Ukrainian defenders.